Okay, Jennifer. Uh, when you were on Lex Friedman's show, the topic of how the founding fathers wrote, we find these truths to be self-evident in regards to rights. And you said that rights are not self-evident. Well, would you, what would you use that phrase for? Could you say that things like consciousness or free will are self-evident or would you only use that phrase with metaphysical axioms? Well, consciousness, I think is self-evident, right? Cause you're conscious. So I, 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 but that is a metaphysical axiom, right? So I, 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 would I use it for epistemological axioms, uh, free will? Um, I think so. I, I, I mean, I think so. I, 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 you know, I, that's the nature of axioms, right? That they are in a sense self-evident and they're self-refuting. Um, if you don't, that is, if you don't accept them, it's self-refuting. So, um, so I think that's a, that's a feature of axioms. Um, it is unfortunate that the, I think it's an unfortunate wording for the founding fathers to use. Uh, I think it gets in trouble with a lot of people that come later on who don't have the context from which they were talking about and can't recreate that context, partially out of dishonesty, but partially out of honest kind of confusion. Uh, you know, the idea of individual rights is a complex achievement. Uh, it, it, and it wasn't self-evident to John Locke. It wasn't self-evident to Pupendorf or, you know, the, the, the philosophers in the Netherlands who kind of started talking about individual rights even before Locke. Uh, and, um, and even all of them got it wrong. They didn't quite get the concept of individual rights until Ayn Rand. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I think it's an unfortunate wording. On the other hand, God, that document is so beautiful. It's so beautifully written. It's so succinct. It's so right on the money and everything. Who am I or who is anybody to criticize it? So uh, it's about as perfect a document as anybody has ever written. Certainly uh, the, more, the, the best political document ever written. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it's, it feels weird to even consider criticizing. Thank you. Sure. All right, Nick. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.